What would it take to hit a kick serve effortlessly and easily? Well, I want to break it down for you, show you exactly how you can learn and hit that kick serve under pressure. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, founder of Tennis Evolution and former top 100 ATP pro, and I want to break down the kick serve for you right now. So we're going to we're going to show you step by step how you can do it. First of all, you have to have the correct grip. And what I like to do is I like to have a continental grip and I make sure that I have my index finger spread. You can call it the trigger finger if you like. A lot of people hold the racket like this and what I call a block grip with the fingers squeezed together, even choked up on the racket probably too much. What I want you to do is I want you to spread that index finger, even spread out your middle finger just a little bit and make sure that the heel of the hand is off of the grip like so. So right there is the beginning stage because again, most people don't hold the racket correctly. And until you have the correct grip, it's very difficult to have solid technique and to hit a kick serve in this case. So you've got your grip. And now the next thing I like to do is I actually prefer to move the grip a little bit more towards the backhand side. So you're gonna shift the heel of your hand over towards the backhand side. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to get up and over the ball to hit a proper kick serve. The more that your grip is towards the forehand side, it's harder to get up and over. So I, I really like having uh, uh, what I call a strong continental grip. You're in a continental and then you just shift it over towards the backhand a little bit. And then when you set up to hit the kick serve, the racket face can naturally open up. Now, of course, you can hit a kick serve without doing that, but I feel that it makes it easier. If you can see this racket, the racket strings turned up a little bit at the beginning. Now next we have to go through, we have to go over the stance. And I find a lot of people struggle with a kick serve because they don't stand correctly. They don't have the right stance for it. Many people bring their back foot up and when they bring the back foot up like this, it limits shoulder turn and it makes the body uh, face forward more. And that's going to promote more of a slice serve. So what I like to do is I like to get people in a platform stance without moving the back foot. And there is range here. This toe could be in line with the midfoot here uh, of the front foot, or it could actually be back in this range here. It's a personal preference. The more this foot slides back, the easier it is to create a massive shoulder turn, which is what you need for a kick serve. If you have no shoulder turn, you're gonna be, you're gonna be more susceptible to hitting a slice serve and most players out there don't have big shoulder turns, so that's why they struggle with the kick, or I should say one reason why. So if you get in a stance like this, with this toe even not even in line with the heel, shifted back like this, it's very easy to turn the shoulders and the hip with that first move, which I'm a big proponent of. I love getting that early shoulder turn. I love having that hip turn as well. Also, if you can get the front foot parallel to the baseline, that will help. The more that you're pointed like this, the harder it is to hit kick. You're gonna be, again, more susceptible to coming around the ball and hitting slice. So we've gone over the grip and we've gone over the stance. We haven't even started the swing yet. A lot of people just skip those two important steps. They hold the grip wrong, they don't have the correct stance, and it's almost impossible to hit a kick. So now, as I mentioned earlier, the next step is to make sure to have a great shoulder turn. Many players move with the arms like this. You have to make sure that you have a great shoulder turn and you get into this trophy position with a relaxed wrist, okay? If, if this racket opens up, a lot of servers, if they have the wrong grip or they open the palm like this, kiss your chances of hitting a kick serve goodbye. It's just not going to happen. So, so important to have proper technique. So we get into this trophy position like this, and we've got that strong continental grip, even moving towards the backhand. And now we're set up to hit a great kicker. Okay, next step is the toss. Many players struggle with the toss, but you've got to get the ball to arc or to move in a way where the ball goes up and it comes over towards the opposite shoulder. So there is range here. You can hit the serve, a kick serve with the ball above your head. I've done it before, but you want to try to feel like the toss is getting over towards the opposite shoulder, the non-dominant shoulder. Many players, when they toss, <clears throat> they toss the ball and it's too far towards their dominant shoulder. So then they end up coming around the ball like this for slice. So what we want to do 
is we want to get that ball to arc over the head. And I say over the head, it's, it's coming from this direction over, like this. And then what happens is the racket's coming from this angle and, and they, they intersect and they meet. And this is a great way to develop this kicker feeling like that was a good kick. That one bounced up really high. Feeling like the toss is arcing over the head. I do have the toss slightly in front in this case, so I'm going into the court still. And you want to make sure when you're making contact, you feel like you're making contact on the opposite shoulder or even the opposite ear. That's a good reference point. Most people do not get to the opposite ear with their toss. They're still over in here. And that, again, is a function of not having a great shoulder turn. If you don't have a great shoulder turn, if your racket comes up like this, how are you going to be able to make contact over here? It just can't happen. So it's like this domino effect. If you do it right, everything falls in line. If one part of the chain in this serve progression falls apart, you really have no chance of hitting a great kick. So we've got the toss arcing uh, over the head. You want to be making contact around the opposite ear or the opposite shoulder. Now, because we have this grip, the feeling you want to have is that you're going up and over, up and over the ball like this. It's actually a circular motion with the swing path. So instead of swinging forward, which a lot of players do, and again, it promotes flat and slice, you want to swing from this direction here, up and over, and you feel like you're basically making a circle over your head, like that. Okay, it is not a forward swing. Now when you do this, the body stays more stable. So when I make contact with the serve, look at my body, it's staying at this angle right here. It's not at this angle. As soon as my body opens up to hit the serve, I lose the ability to hit kick. So it's so important that you keep your body stable as you hit the serve and you let the racket in the hand go up and over the ball up and over the ball. So I'll do a couple right now. And again, just notice the swing, notice the toss and notice the swing path. The, the, the ball is going to go over the head like this and the racket's going to come from this direction in a circular swing path. So I go up and over, I go up and over and I come back around like this. And I like to finish near the belly button. When I have that full kicker, I go up and over like this. <clears throat> All right, so I finished right here. Again, up and over. Now, if you're still having trouble getting kick, I like to have my players finish on the same side of their body as they make contact on. In other words, uh, if you're left-handed, you'll finish on the left side of the body. If you're right-handed, you'll finish on the right hand, right side of the body. If you study uh, Boris Becker or Stefan Edberg, you'll see that they finished on this side. They don't even, they don't come all the way through. You can still hit a kick this way, but if you want to practice this swing path, it will support you if you finish on this side. So watch where I finish here. And that was one of my better kickers, but look where I finished. So I swung from here and then I kept the racket here. Now, if you have any type of shoulder pain or or problems with your shoulder, you might not want to finish on this side of the body. You might want to bring it through. I haven't had many players struggle with this, especially if they keep their arm relaxed. If you finish on this side of the body and you're really stiff, then it could hurt. So just keep that in mind. Stay really relaxed with your body and finish on this side right here. And notice it's almost like if I lift my elbow, if I bend my elbow, it's almost like I have a circle right here or a beach ball that I could hold it. So I'm not straight like this, and my elbow is actually higher than the shoulder. Again, this, guys like Pete Sampras would finish like this on their serve. <clears throat> and that was a really big kick, and you see, again, look how high my elbow is. Now, it does require strength in the shoulder. There's no question about it. It does require coordination. But I want to give you this systematic progression on how you can develop the kick. I've shown you exactly how to hit this step by step. And I really believe if you follow these progressions, you can get to the next level with your kick surf. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. There should be a place where you can click in the description below so that you can pick up more serve tips, more information about what we're doing at Tennis Evolution. These are free lessons to help you get to the next level. F free tips as well. 
Uh, there should be somewhere to click in this video as well. We are committed to helping you. We want to help those committed, passionate players out there that want to get better. I'm passionate about helping players with the serve. I believe I can help you. I know if you put the work in, you can get better. We'll see you at the next video.